Okay, we are now broadcasting to all participants. Thank you guys for sh showing up. Um, I see everyone's coming in, that's great. We're gonna give everyone um, a couple of, of seconds to come in. Um, it is currently recording, so it will be on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Um, and the teen commission can start whenever they are ready, but we still have people uh, coming in. So just an FYI. Um, I think we'll, yeah, yeah, I think we'll wait for like one more minute and then we'll start the presentation. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hack Your Bertino 2020. My name is Kelly Tung, and I am the chair of the Cupertino Teen Commission. Thank you for tuning in, and we are so excited to have you all participate in our virtual hackathon. This hackathon is brought to you by the Cupertino Teen Commission and the Parks and Recreation Department. Here is our agenda for today. First, we'll go over some hacking information that you'll need. Then we will reveal the prompt for this year's hackathon. Finally, we'll go over the judging details and rubric that we'll use. Hacking information. To start off, here are some reminders. We will continue to take registrations until Tuesday, July 21st at 1 p.m. However, late registrants might be at a disadvantage. The important announcements will be placed on the DevPost discussion area. This includes swag, prize pickup, opening ceremony YouTube link, and more. Those who do not have a team may find people looking for a team in the participants tab of the DevPost. In order to receive updates and submit your projects for this hackathon, we recommend that you register on DevPost. The link to our DevPost is hackcubertino2020.devpost.com. I repeat, hackcubertino2020.devpost.com. We strongly recommend that all of you who have not registered on DevPost do so right now. I know that there are some of you who have registered on DevPost but have not registered on Eventbrite. We require that participants register on both these platforms because on Eventbrite, we'll, we will use it to hand out swag and you do not want to miss out on those. The link to the Eventbrite is tinyurl.com slash hackcupertino2020. Please do so now. Here are some rules for this hackathon. First of all, no prior work is allowed. You may not use an app or code that you have written in the past. Everything that you submit should be coded during this week long period. You can compete by yourself or you can work with a team. However, each team can only have up to four people. You may also use third-party APIs in this competition. Using online help such as Stack Overflow is permitted as well. Your project must relate to the theme of this competition. We will be judging on the theme of your project. Finally, your project, your project must be original. You may not plagiarize or take code from other people. Here are some formats on which you can do your projects. A mobile app that runs on iOS or Android, or an app that runs on a tablet that built on iPadOS or Android. You could even do a desktop application that runs on macOS or Windows. Besides just an application, you can create a website. These are just ideas to get you started, but you're really excited to see your creativity. Remember, creatively, your creativity is heavily emphasized in this hackathon and we encourage you to go think beyond the box and go beyond the norm. Our theme for this year is civics. We'll explain more on the next slide. So what does civics mean? 
The dictionary definition of civics is the study of the rights and duties of citizenship. However, what we are looking for is a solution to a civics related problem in the community. This means that your project should be something that benefits the community, such as improving civic engagement. We made the topic broad on purpose to give you more room to innovate and demonstrate your creativity. Okay, so here are just some submission and judging details that we um, wanna to present to you guys. So the first one is that you have to make a video of your team presenting your idea. So this video will essentially be used to score your idea and uh, your video should be no longer than three minutes. Um, that's part of the scoring criteria that the judges will be using. Um, it should also include relevant information and be easy to understand. It could have a demo of your app in the video. So you should upload the video and turn it into turn in the link to dev posts along with your code and idea description. And if you win, your video will be publicly available on our Instagram or YouTube posted by city staff um, uh, on the city of Cupertino YouTube. So here's their picture of the rubric that our judges will be using. Um, you can see that there are four uh, categories scaled one through five. Um, I'll, I'm just gonna go through the categories and read through what you need to get a five for each one. So the first category is theme and creativity. And what we're looking for is basically an innovative solution to a civics related problem in our society. Um, and it, you'll be scored on um, how innovative your and creative your uh, solution is. So to get a five, it should be innovative. Um, the, to get a five in code, uh, you ha the code has to be functional and also show a deep understanding of the coding language. Um, to get a five in the presentation or video category, the video should be detailed, um, explanatory, creative, and engaging, and should fall within the three minute time limit. And for the last category, it's practicality and usability. So what we're looking for is here is um, basically how practical your solution is, um, if, if it can be implemented in real life. So to get a five in that category, the solution should be uh, easily utilized in real life and should have um, most, all aspects should be um, practical and can be implemented um, to its entirety in society. Please submit your projects on DevPost. You only need one submission per team. That means that only one person, person in the team submits the project on DevPost. Our due date for submissions is 11.45 p.m. on July 25th. We will not accept late submissions, so please be sure to submit your project early. The link to this presentation is tinyurl.com slash hc2020 ppt. I repeat, tinyurl.com slash hc2020 ppt. This presentation will also be available on YouTube by Tuesday. There is a lot we covered today, and I know you have a lot of questions. If and if you do have questions, please ask them now. If you want to ask your questions verbally, click the raise hand button now. You can also type it in the chat. We will answer your questions to the best of our abilities. All right, so um, I do have a few questions if you guys want to open up the, the uh, chat. And I believe I also have some folks who have raised their hands. Um, so Kelly, since you are co-host, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I don't know if you're able to see that they're allowed to to talk here or yes. yeah. All right, so go yeah. ahead. Okay, then I think we should start with the raise hands. So I see Aryan Garg. Um, you are now allowed to talk. Aryan? Yeah, you have to click unmute, Aryan. Uh, hello? Hi, we can hear you. Hi. Um, wait, what do you want me to do? Did you have a question? Your hand was raised. Oh, no, I didn't have a question, sorry. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, then let's move on to Manesh. Please unmute yourself. Um, it's pronounced Manish, and uh, 
are we allowed to submit our submissions in, a, in through, through GitHub or an IPYNB file? Um, to answer your questions, if you want to submit on those of the, on that, that format, you should go to dev post and then the upload your file, required files. And speaking of IPython notebooks, I would say that you must pertain to the prompt and uh, be cre as creative as possible. And I'm excited to see what ideas you come up with. Also, you need to consider that the judges will have to be able to view your submission in whatever form you send it in. So consider that before you turn in it in any type of file. Okay, great. Um, let's move on to the chat questions. So for the Eventbrite question, um, if you check the chat, you can see it that Danny Mestizo wrote it. Are we permitted to use coding tutorials? Yes, you're permitted to use coding tutorials. However, you just can't take like direct code, like you can't copy paste, but you can use online help. I see a question from Augusta C. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. And you asked, where do we go for dev post registration? And the link for the dev post registration is hackubertino2020.devpost.com. It's already in the chat. Um, I also see that Kyle He asked a question about hardware projects. Yes, it is good that you have hardware projects, but I must insist that you pertain to the prompt at all times and be as creative as possible and make sure that whatever you submit must be accessible to judges. And I'm not sure how you would do that with the hardware project, and but you would have to work that through. Um, I'd like to elaborate on that. If you use a hardware project, please make sure to include the project in your video so that the judges can at least see like a demonstration of how your hardware project works. And then also include the code that you use in your hardware project to death post. Um, for, um, there's a question from Sanat. Uh, do we need to make our submission for both Windows, Mac, or iOS, Android? Is one platform accepted? Yes, one platform is accepted and we are excited to whatever you come up with. Um, to Rishab, yes, I can re-explain the prompt here. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so our prompt for this year is civics. And so the dictionary definition of civics is the study of the rights and duties of citizenship. However, what we're looking for is a project that helps the community. So for example, it can like improve civic engagement. And we made the topic broad so that you had more room to innovate and demonstrate your creativity. Um, for, and also to elaborate for Kelly's point, this presentation is also available on YouTube. So you can see this presentation in your hacking process. I'm sure that this presentation will help you tremendously while you're at it. Okay, if there are any other questions, please type them in the chat or raise your hand now, or we will move on to the next slide. Okay, I do not see any other questions, so we will move on. Okay, so from now to July 25th at 1145 p.m. is hacking time. If you have any further questions after the presentation, please email them to teamcommission at cupertino.org or hackcupertino at cupertino.org. We can't wait to see all of your submissions at the end of this week. Good luck to all participants and start hacking. Kelly, we have one more question in the chat. Oh yeah, we can definitely answer that. Um, if we make an app, will it be published to the App Store, Android Store, et cetera? Um, I do not think this, like we will not publish it for you. However, if you choose to publish it on your own, you can definitely do that. Yes. Um, to add on to Kelly's point, you can also take screenshots of your app and explain how your app works in the video presentation you will make to explain to the judges. Okay, if they're not 
if there are no further questions, um, that is all we have for today. Thank you guys for participating and we hope that this helped you. Um, please make sure to attend the closing ceremony so that we can announce the winners. Okay, well, uh, thank you guys for uh, sh uh, showing up. Um, as a final reminder, I do encourage everyone um, to go to uh, our dev uh, post, which I will, um, I'll, sh I'll share some brief information for everyone here. Um, in case you're not familiar, with the uh, platform. Um, if you go to the discussions section, uh, here are uh, some important announcements. Um, you can see all of our participants here, um, as well as those still um, searching for uh, 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 teammates. Um, and then the, the the polls are here as well, and all of these submissions are going to show up here. Um, and as as Kelly mentioned, if you do have any questions, you can uh, feel free to email us, and we will get back to you within uh, 24 hours. Okay. Well. Thank you all for uh, joining us. The recording of the opening ceremony sh uh, should be on the city's YouTube channel by, uh, by Tuesday. So if there are things that you missed or if you would like to go uh, back and see one certain section, um, I would encourage you uh, to to check our city's YouTube on Tuesday, and I I will also be uh, posting the of uh, the video on the Dev Post as well. Okay, uh, thanks, and have a uh, good evening.